Good morning. Today we look at what St. Paul says in Titus 2 verse 15. It's just one verse. Declare these things, exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no one disregard you. Now, as our church campus ministry and early child care ministry continues on its work in 2021, what are the things that we declare? Well, exhorting and rebuking, of course, is the two sides of the same coin, heads and tails, if you will. When we rebuke people, that's the law. Uh, exhortation can be a focus of the gospel, exhorting one another to live in the grace of Christ. We do this with the authority of the Holy Scriptures. We don't do it based upon our own authority, but the authority of the Word of God. And we don't let anybody disregard the Word of God or laugh at it. We declare these things boldly, not just me as a pastor, but you in your life, at work, with your family, at home, with your children, with your loved ones. We boldly declare the Word of God with the authority of Scripture. Sometimes we, we have to rebuke, other times we exhort. But we do this uh, based upon the authority of the Word of God, and we will not be disregarded, because the Word must go forth. So let us pray for the whole Church of God in Christ Jesus, and for all people according to their needs. O Lord, our jealous God, save the third and fourth generation that will come after us from your punishment by filling us with your Son's zeal for your house in these Lenten days, that we may cast out every idol from our hearts and love only you and your commandments. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O Lord, our God, you have brought us out of slavery to sin through Christ Jesus, whom you have made to be our wisdom, righteousness, sanctification, and redemption. Bless all those whom you send to preach Christ crucified to us, that we may ever know and live in the truth of your power in his cross. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, preserve and bless all Christian households, that husbands and wives would live in love and service to each other, that fathers and mothers would diligently bring up their children in your fear, and that children would honor their parents and be well equipped for service to their neighbor in this life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O Lord of the perfect law, you've called us to honor our parents and all authorities that it might go well with us in our land. Bless all those who watch over and govern us in your stead. Make them wise in your ways that your justice may be upheld among us and help us to serve and obey them in accord with your will. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us faithfully proclaim and declare the things of God, law and gospel. God bless you this week.